Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark of Saw Gaming. I'll be checking out a little, well, three, three, three pretty big articles, so this is going to be a longer video than usual, but three articles on Far Cry 5 and my source is PCGamer.com. Go check them out, they are a credible source. Even if you aren't a PC gamer, they still cover things that will help you in the future about games and other details. So, title of this uh, first article is Far Cry 5 will let you customize your character and everything else we know so far. That's good because no Far Cry has let you do that um, to the extent. Um, when it comes to looks, at, at no, not really. Customizing that stuff, but weapons, yes. But the character, no. That's that's amazing. I'd love to see. It. I'm looking at these images right now, and they're looking pretty nice. Um, it looks like they're using some sort of engine similar to the. Um, I'd have to say it looks kind of like. Um, I, I want to say it looks. It looks like. Uh, I, I, if, okay, you guys, if you've been keeping up, I have a World War II trailer for Call of Duty. It kind of looks like that. The the engine, and. Kind of weird to say that, but it looks it looks a lot like that. I can't say it looks like Battlefield or Star Wars because the textures are so much nicer. And um, yeah, I can't tell you what engine that is, but it looks nice. Anyway, finally we've had our first look at Far Cry 5, and it looks bonkers. <laughs> Set in Montana with a crazy cult militia as the bad guys will be heading out into territory such much closer to home than most Americans are used to. But as sixth but as the sixth game, don't forget Primal in the series, what is Far Cry 5 doing that sets it apart from the rest? Based on my preview last week, a chat with creative director Dan Hay from uh, scrutinizing every bit of media released so far Here's everything we know about Far Cry 5 so far. And that was an article written by James Davenport, who has written most of this article here. Uh, it's, quote, it's his quote as well. So, if you're asking if this source is credible or not, yeah, it's fucking credible. I'm sick of people coming up and saying, oh, you shit ain't credible, but they're talking to the directors who are part of it. So... If you cry babies out there who still want to, you know, get pissed off about the Xbox Scorpio video, yeah, eat it. I, I'm taking shit straight from the directors, alright? So just grow a pair and get used to it. Um, <laughs> off of that one. It's set in a function, it's set in a fictional country in western Montana. Um, which is also where I grew up. <laughs> except mountains. Not me, that's, that's the guy who wrote the, uh, who wrote the, uh, article. That's, that's him saying that. Except mountains, rivers, and fly fishing, and bears. There are bears there. I doubt we'll be able to befriend and ride them like in Far Cry Primal. But my Uncle Rod tells me stories. Okay, it's fucking... Okay, he's giving a little insight about his own little life. The bad guys are crazy cultists this time around. Okay, yeah. Um, anyone who's played a Far Cry game... Yeah, the bad guys are pretty crazy. Uh, Voss, still the best protagonist... I'm sorry, the best antagonist villain I've ever seen in a video game. And that's Far Cry 3. And they're led by this wacky family. Joseph is the father, though I think his name is just, symboli is just symbolism, considering he doesn't look much older than the rest of the bunch. Jacob is the oldest, John is the youngest, and Faith is the half-sister. We don't know much about them yet, but changes chances are... They're a bit off the wall. Okay, so he's actually got more in, uh, more more information about this thing be before uh, most people ever have, and thanks to him talking to the director, I wouldn't, I would expect such a thing. But that's pretty cool. He's got names of the people now. Most people don't, you know, get that shit this early. Mind you, the trailer's coming out in February, so we haven't even gotten a trailer yet. You get to customize your character. Okay, here's where the good thing is coming in. The big thing about this article: a deputy sheriff. What does that mean? How this deputy sheriff ends up at odds with this cult and to what to to what extent can customize them is uncertain. We know that you can pick a gender. Oh, you can. Okay. But not much else. Don't expect anything as deep as Black Desert Online. I haven't played that, but I'm expecting it to be big then. 
Uh, it's a first-person game, after all. You can spend most of your time on other people's faces while they're while they impose their wacky virtues. I'll hold out hope for deep fingernail polish, though. <laughs> polish many, though. Okay. That's kind of weird. You'll be partnering with some bizarre characters. I, I'd expect as much. And there's a preacher that hides a gun in his Bible. A guy that looks like someone I went to high school with attracting a minigun to crop duster. And a nostalgic bartender hungry for revenge. Just regular Montanans. Okay. <laughs> you can drive and shoot out of tractors. Okay, so they're gonna they're taking a few of uh Wow that picture looks nice. They're taking a few aspects from Far Cry uh four where you could just drive and shoot out of vehicles and same thing when you're flying, which is a nice thing that Far Cry three didn't have. Um and they're implementing all the good shit about it. So far I haven't seen any I haven't heard anything that made me wonder uh is it really good to be in this game? So that's pretty nice. Okay, so this one, um, let's see. You go to small towns. They have towns scattered all over maps, like usual. I imagine we'll have a variety of trucks and old beater sports cars. We'll also be getting the um, aforementioned planes and with mini guns attached to the bottom that sound rad. <laughs> <laughs> he used the word red. What the fuck is this, the 80s? It sound Okay, okay. Planes with miniguns. Doesn't that sound like a... A certain U.S. military thing? I mean, I'm just saying, if they could have this in a Far Cry game, that's, that's going to be terrible uh, in, in terms of the enemy. I mean, if you could get that. You know what I'm talking about, right? No? Oh, God. Warthog. That sounds like a recreational warthog. <laughs> Motorcycles with four wheels and boats aren't confirmed, but I'd be surprised if they weren't included. Okay, he's expecting to be included. So am I. I knew people nearly raised on the damn things. Okay. he, he, he This guy's going to be uh, bringing in his own little personal life, which is not an issue, but... Yeah, don't get confused. It's not my life. <laughs> I'm not saying this. Hunting returns and fishing debuts. That's cool. Except, except to hunt again. Expect to hunt again. It's a Far Cry game. Without weird upgrade trees, it wouldn't feel right. That said, we don't know specific uses when animal skins or then that they'll be in the game and that you can indeed shoot them with guns. Same goes for fish. Okay, so we don't know that if you can shoot my fish. My friend David used to do it with a recurve bow. Eh. And we both, we don't know if you'll get to fly, Rod, like, take on whatever river runs through Far Cry 5. But we know you can kill fish and turn their carcasses into something useful. Well, yeah, okay, that's that's a first, to kill a, a fish. Other than a shark, but regular ass fish, yeah, it'd be a first, because you just get their shit and eat it. Um... Most, there weren't many fish in past Far Cry games. How you can get the fish out of the water and make them dead is a mystery. Okay, so I don't know how they're going to do it. Uh, you know what? I, I'm not going to be, you know, baffled if it's some regular idea like fishing with a rod. God. Melee weapons are back. In the trailer, the player makes a creative use of a pitchfork and a sledgehammer to take out some cultists. After featuring so heavily in Far Cry Primal, it, it makes sense that a melee system returns to Far Cry 5. What blunt instrument does Montana have waiting for us, I wonder. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be like that um, that Dead Rising 4 feeling. If anyone's played Dead Rising in general, you, there's a shit ton of melee weapons you can craft, so that's pretty cool. You can hire dogs to steal guns. <laughs> What? It's not clear to whatever degree you'll be teaming up with animals this time around, but we do know that you can hire dogs to work for you. And that does, and that those dogs are capable of stealing guns. Incredible news, really. <clears throat> you can hire people to shoot guns. No shit. Um, I'm gonna skip that one. That's pretty uh, fucking obvious. There is a bar called Spread Eagle in it. And that's it. They're, they're literally. <laughs> He, he put that as a big thing. Moving on to the next article. Far Cry 5 will support two-player co-op 
across the full campaign. This is also on PCGamer.com. Check them out. Even if you aren't a PC gamer, it's a pretty short article, and this is from someone else who doesn't have to share their whole fucking life, which is good, because that was annoying to read. Um, yeah. So we can expect the two-player campaign thing that we saw in... Um, that we saw in Far Cry 4, which is amazing because that was a good thing. I had fun shooting off of elephants and that little turbine helicopter you pedaled like a bike. Okay, so the article lists, A listing for Far Cry 5 that's popped up on Steam has revealed that it will support two-player co-op action against cult leader Joseph Seed and his siblings, the Heralds. <clears throat> and unlike Far Cry 4 where, co where competitive cooperative play was limited to side quests, Ubisoft said two-player action in Montana will now be available across the entire campaign. That is amazing. Somewhat, some of what's in the listings we already know, which is the ability to recruit guns, people, and fangs, animals, to you, to you, to your cause. And it also confirms that with the long tractors, <laughs> which you can be better off playing chicken with, um, the vehicles in the game will include iconic muscle cars. Oh, I love muscle cars. ATVs, planes, and a lot more. And while the promise of a world that hits back doesn't necessarily mean anything, it, it's intriguing. If only because of the bad guys in previous Far Cry games that have been oddly happy to let me run through... Uh... Roshad? I, I don't know what the fuck that says, but... Article. God, just read it. Over them without really trying to do anything about it, wreck havoc and cult and its members, it says, but beware of the wrath of Joseph Seed and his followers. Okay, so they're, they're, they're trying to do the same uh, Far Cry uh, 4 shit, but the issue is... Far Cry 4 wasn't a hard game, like I stated previously in this video. The listing was also indicative that Far Cry 5 will be available in three different editions. The basic dude shooting version, which will sell for $60 US. The deluxe edition, which will come with a big game hunter pack. The ice, the ace pilot pack. Oh, I almost said ISIS, and it's fucking terrible. The explosive pack, the chaos pack, and the AC ARC assault rifle and 44 Magnum pistol with unique skins. It's $70 United States currency. And the gold edition. Oh my god. With all of the above, plus the season pass, which carries $90, price tag, United States currency. Uh, if you guys want to check out the other prices, they have other variants of the price as well. So if you guys really don't know and you don't live in the United States of America, um, check out these articles. I have it in the description down below for more information. The contents of the season pass aren't specified, no shit. But it will include additional stories, content, and gear. Yeah, no shit. Pre-order bonuses for all the Doomsday Prepper Pack and Prepper Outfit Gun and the Vehicle Skins plus additional consumables. Okay, Prepper Pack. They've been doing this for years. And it actually spread over to, um... It, it was Far Cry 4, Far Cry Primal. They both had Prepper Packs, if I'm not mistaken. At least Far Cry 4 did. I'm not sure about Primal. I've just heard about it. I didn't take it. Um... And it sucks. Don't fuck with the prepper pack. Don't waste your money on that. Either go $60 or the fucking $90. Don't do the $70. Because it's always bullshit. Unless you're buying with the season pass, get $90 or $60. Regular game or fucking season pass. Don't waste your money on between. Because they're not worth it. Alright, getting off that little soapbox. Far Cry 5 is scheduled for release February 27, 2018, and we've got a first look at what's coming here. Okay, I'm not going to click on that because I need to move on to the next article, but pretty much everything I'm reading so far is really nice. It's really nice. And the last article, which is, I'd say the shortest, minus the videos stuck in there. They have announcement trailers and uh, talk with developers and shit like that. Um, this article, of third and final article is Far Cry 5 announcement trailer is here. It's here! Along with a February release date. That reminds me of C.T. Fletcher. I am the one that you were told about. I am the one you were warned about. I am the one. I am here. I'm sorry. That's just an amazing video. I just wanted to say that. Get on with it. Fuck, I'm a muscle head. Who cares?
Okay, so the subtitle says, and meet your allies, a bartender, a priest, a pilot. Okay, okay, never mind. That's the same shit I said in the first article. The Far Cry 5 announcement trailer is here. It's here! And you will watch it from above, where you'd get a good look at religious cult that has taken over Hope County, Montana. <clears throat> the trailer features a, lot of, features a lot of shooting, driving, and flying. Cool. Not to mention wildlife. Someone is being chased by a bear. <laughs> and the bearded. Um, tattooed cult leader will be you will be squaring off against. That's awesome. The trailer also gives a U.S. Re release date for February 27th, 2018. Ubisoft would like to introduce you to three allies that'll be that you'll be meeting in the videos. Okay, okay. I'm gonna skip over that. First is Mary May, bartender and established called the Spread Eagle. <laughs> Fuck. I'm just gonna read little ones. So if you guys want to see the in-depth thing, um, you have to check out the articles. Whoa, to the man, to the flies, is my mock astray, reads Pastor Jerome, I think Jerome or Jeremy. Eh, it's a black guy, so I'm going to say Jerome. Jeffries, <laughs> in the shattered ru ruins of this church. For I am not the shepherd, and I must be the wolf. Okay, so, a crazy pastor. And Nick Rye is a pilot. Basically, he's Trevor from GTA 5 with hair, and not mental illness is, is bad. So, those are all three of the articles. If you want to get in depth, I didn't read everything on every article. I left out a few paragraphs and small things that I really didn't feel like I needed to say. But if you wanted to read them in depth, like the character design and everything, I have plenty on that in these articles. And I'll be coming out with more videos in the past. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. As for all, thanks for watching. This has been Mark of Saw Gaming, signing out.